Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. Today we're just going to go ahead and we're going to check on the maple taps. Before we check on the maple taps, let's go ahead and uh, give the chickens their salad and check on them. There we go. Hello ladies and uh, gentlemen. How we doing today? Which one is doing that? Was that you? Was that you, Lord Farquaad? Wow, you guys went through quite a bit of the salad yesterday, huh? Alright, let's grab the water because they're going to need water. Alright, let's head back and check on the taps. So the reason I'm checking on the taps is yesterday uh, it got up into the 40s, which is usually, you know, as long as it gets above freezing, the sap went, might run. And I figured that's, they're going to start running soon, so I figured I'd tap them. Um, here's the first one I'm going to look at. I'm not seeing anything in the line. And the bucket's definitely empty. Check that one. Oh, this one looks the same. Ooh. But the bucket does not feel empty, so let's go ahead and check that. Yep, I don't know if you guys can see it in there. But it definitely ran a little bit yesterday. Not much though, we only have about a inch of sap in the bottom of that bucket. Oh, and that's the one that I wasn't 100% sure on. So I'm going to try that one here in a minute. I'm going to come back and, and taste it and make sure that is actually uh, maple. Here are these two in the back. I'm not seeing anything in the line. Let's shake the bucket. Bucket feels like it might have something. Very little down there. Same thing with this one, nothing in the lines. But it, I am seeing a little bit uh, it doesn't look like it's going to come out very well on the camera, but I'm seeing a little bit of moisture in the bucket, but it doesn't feel like there's anything in it. Come on, this, this lid's hard to get off. Very, very little in this bucket. I don't know if you guys can even see it. Not, the, not enough to really say it's in there. So even though we had a decent day yesterday as far as the weather-wise, um, the sap didn't run too much. Um, but this whole week is supposed to be above freezing. So... It's going to continue to run. Um, it'd be nice to get enough over the next two days to be able to uh, do a small boiling. 
but I don't know. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. All right, so I'm back at the tree that I wasn't 100% sure on. So we're going to go ahead and open that again. Just dip my finger in that. Yep. I can taste it in there so that that is a maple, so that's good. All right, so I've only got one more tree to actually check, and that's gonna be the one that was our biggest producer last year, and that's the Norway maple. So we're gonna go check on that as I bring the, the water into the house in order to fill it. So here we go. All right, so there's the Norway maple. Just looking at this one, I can tell it ran. You can see the, the dripping on the tree. You can also see that there's moisture inside the tube. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Oh, there's not a lot though. There's very little in that one as well. So the sap did start running, but not very much. So um, we, we'll, we'll check it again tonight, because today's supposed to get pretty nice again. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Well, guys, thanks for coming along with us. And you guys have a great day. Remember to click that subscribe button if you like what we're doing. All right, bye.